Hey guys, these are going to be your station three notes for the skeletal and the muscular system. We're going to start with the skeletal system. The skeletal system um, is made up of bones, and bones are going to make up your skeleton. All bones are are strong tissues that make up your skeleton. You have hundreds of bones in your body. Some of them are very, very tiny bones, and some of them, like your femur, are very, very big bones. Um, but the, all they are is a type of tissue. There are four different functions of bones. And you need to make sure that you know all four. The first function is for structure and support. So we are being able to stand up straight. You are able to sit up straight in your chairs because you have bones in your body. If you didn't have bones in your body, you'd just be a puddle of organs on the floor. Um, the other function of bones is actually to protect organs. So if you think of your rib cage, your rib cage comes across your chest and it's going to protect those vital organs like your heart so that they don't get damaged day to day wear. Um, the next function we use our bones for movement or locomotion. So they allow us to walk and talk and move our arms. And finally, the little bit lesser known function of bones that might be a little bit tricky for your unit test is bones actually are going to create red blood cells for us. There are three types of um, connective tissue that helps bones do what they do. The first type of connective tissue you might have heard of is cartilage. Cartilage is connective tissue. So it's a little bit softer than bones. And it's actually going to protect bones or cushion bones. Next, we have tendons. Tendons are going to connect bones to muscles. We'll talk about muscles in a little bit, but muscles are also necessary for movement or locomotion. Um, so in order for bones and muscles to work together, they have to be connected some way. They're gonna be connected with tendons. You may have heard of your Achilles tendon. That's going to be found in your heel, and that's going to connect the bones in your heel to the muscles in your leg. Next, we have ligaments. Ligaments are going to connect muscles to other muscles. And again, allow for that movement. You have ligaments all over your body, but one of the most popular ones that people have heard of are ACLs, which are found in both of your knees, and they actually connect the muscles of your upper leg to the muscles of your lower leg and go through your kneecap. Next, we need to talk about muscles. There are a couple different types of muscles or classifications of muscles. One type of muscle is going to be a voluntary muscle, and this is a muscle that you can move. So any muscle that you can move, like the muscles in your legs or the muscles in your arms, um, those are going to be voluntary muscles. An example would be your bicep. So your bicep is that muscle on the upper part of your arm. We can move our bicep, which helps move our arm. So it's going to be a voluntary muscle. The next type of muscle is an involuntary muscle. An involuntary muscle is a muscle that moves on its own.
So for instance, right now you've probably been breathing this whole time without thinking about it. Your diaphragm is a type of involuntary muscle that helps you to breathe. Now your diaphragm is also a special type of muscle because it can become voluntary. Like right now, if you're thinking of the fact that you have to breathe, all of a sudden it's gonna take over or your brain is gonna take over and it's not going to work that diaphragm for you. Muscles that we cannot control are the ones that found, are found around our heart. For example, it might be cardiac muscle. That's an involuntary muscle. Your heart is going to beat whether you think about it or not. It's involuntary. It's controlled without you knowing it. Or think of the muscle that lines our stomach, too. Our stomach, we've talked about mechanical digestion and how that stomach moves around to shift all that food and cover it with its acid. We cannot control our stomach muscles. It's an involuntary muscle. Muscles need a few things to work. Muscles need a lot of oxygen and sugar to work. Because these are going to be the ingredients for cellular respiration, which we've talked about. Muscles do two things. They contract and they relax. When they contract, muscle fibers squeeze together. When muscles relax, those muscle fibers lengthen. We need to know the difference between those terms contract and relax. 